Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I am accepting the challenge from Nathaniel Outdoor Adventures over in Switzerland. He's come up with this little scheme where uh, we do a bit of competitive detecting. So to make things fair, I've come onto a new field, which I'm showing you, which I've never been on before, just to make it, uh, make it all nice and even. That bit over yonder on that hill, that's where I've been concentrating on in the past, uh, it goes all the way up there. That's where I've been concentrating all this winter. Uh, the tunic field is the next field over, so I go past that uh, tree line over there. And then there's the Roman fields right over in the distance. So this field I have never actually done. So there you go, Nathaniel. I will give it, it's 11 o'clock on a Tuesday morning. I will give it four hours and uh, may the best man win. Well, probably about five foot away from the last coin. Coin number two. I think that's a sixpence. But one with the uh, zero silver in it by the looks of it. That's your clean up. It's quite nice, isn't it? Second coin. We're going fine. Okay, and now we have another button. We forget the button that we had at the start, and I'll raise you a Royal Artillery button. And I can date this one because I've had one of these before, and it's between 1790 and 1802. So in those 12 years, three cannibals, three cannons. British Royal Artillery, 18th century. Cool! Here it is. Lovely thing. Happy with that. And I was about to throw this away. Well, not throw it away, put it in my pocket. I've got to declare all my finds at the end of the day, as we all know. But that is quite interesting. Bit of a buckle, maybe. Oh, look, it's a stylus. It's a stylus from a medieval record player. Probably not. Probably not. But that end looks quite. Uh, We're we'll clean that up back at the ranch. We may have an interesting artifact, Mr. Nathaniel. We may have an interesting artifact. Oh, I'm enjoying this field so far. Hasn't been an hour yet. Excellent. Right, we're pretty much bang on an hour now. And I think we've got another artifact. That obviously had a uh, a pin on it at some point. It's like a cat of some kind, isn't it? Or is that just my imagination? Running away with me. Well, we clean that out back at the ranch. I'm loving this field. Artifact, artifact. Where for out the artifact? What on earth is that? Kind of flat on that side. Uh, absolutely no idea. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, how cool is that? Whatever that is. First find for a while. Huge musket ball. I mean, huge. That would hurt. Onwards and upwards. Well, I was beginning to get a little bit despondent. I hadn't found one for a while. There we go, it's another coin. It's a farthing. 1920-ish, I would have said. I can't read that right now, let's have a... You might be able to see that. I can't see that. Another coin. It's been a while coming. I was beginning to get a bit uh, downhearted. But now I'm all right again. Woohoo! Okay, um, <laughs> a little bit exciting. Let's try and look at that. It's not silver. 
Details on that side. That is exciting. Should be able to pick something out on that later on. With that crown in the middle. Oh, I like that. We look that up, I think. We should be able to trace that. Brilliant. Another coin. There we go, sir. 1914 halfpenny. There he is. Hello, sir. There we go. WW1. Another coin. We're doing all right now. I have 10 minutes of my allotted time left. So I'm just swinging as I leg it back to my bag and to the end of the row. You know, without much hope of uh, anything. Crotal Bell. Crotal Bell. <laughs> it's been a long time since I found one of those. That's nice. That will clean up lovely. I wonder if it will ring for the first time in 300 or so years. Probably not looking at that gap. Look at that, Crotal Bell. Happy days. Happy days. Nathaniel, you've got to go some to beat that, mate. Six minutes of my allocated time left. Running back down to the end of the row, which is just down there. Looks like another farthing. I'm going to keep on going. Doing all right today. Okay. Back at the ranch, let's go through some of the things that uh, we discovered. Uh, all in all, I had 22 buttons, and the two of my favourites there, they're the Royal Artillery ones, and they're from 1790 to 1802, only that 12 year period, because I found them before, so I know, I know that. Uh, Crotal Bell, which is very very nice it's got a, a W and in the broken bit inside you can just about make out a K the leather P still in there so it still rings this uh, I thought was oh it goes up that way it's some kind of cat but my wife actually pointed out if you put it up that way it's a girl guides badge you can just about make that out so that's that's probably from the 1950s the Crotal Bell is about a 17 or 18th century one <laughs> haven't got an ID on that yet but I'm still I'm still going to keep going on that there's something I'm, I'm compelled to keep going I don't really know what that is uh, I've got a bullet casing and a nice bit of um, musket ball that's a 0.69 caliber from a 1795 musket six coins George V half penny, 1993 Queen Vic farthing, and 1929 George V farthing, and a 1955 sixpence. Uh, did get some cancel, uh, did get a key, uh, 43 different bits of scrap, which I've photographed and, and showed for you, and uh, star find. Is a Charles the First rose hammered farthing, which I think is absolutely lovely. Charles the First went on to get executed because he wasn't uh, wasn't the greatest in the world. That's lovely. Um, some of them had um, brass inserted in them to stop forgeries. So it is a hammered coin, they used to hammer a little bit of brass in there when they were making it. So people didn't forge them. This one's an early one, it's made between 1636 and 1644. So there you go my friend, that is uh, the challenge, good luck to you. And uh, happy hunting, see you soon.